Hey guys, what's up? I don't know how much storage I got on my phone, but we're gonna try and do this in one take. Okay, so you have a 1973 to 79 F100 and you're trying to take the dash bezel out, right? Okay, well you have one screw here, one screw here, one here, one here, and you have one up here. And then you have two here when you take this face plate off. And then you have the nut, or you have the washers for the radio. You're gonna need two different kind of long head sockets. You're gonna need a half inch with a three eighth drive and a nine sixteenths with a three eighth drive. And then you just pull these knobs off, and then you unscrew those nut those nuts that hold the radio in. And then you got these these ones here, and I really don't know what size they are, but if I do, I'll write them in the description down below. And you really don't need to take off your switches on here, these plastic things that are on your um, hair controls and your AC controls. You really don't need to take those off. So I have the other one down here. Then I have my tool set and what you want to use is you want to use your crooked hook. The one that's bent at a 90 degree from uh, Harbor Freight. You get these at Harbor Freight, they'll save your butt. They're only like, I don't know, I only pay like a buck or maybe two bucks. They're not really that that expensive and you want uh, to take off the switch from here from this one and you have that right there and you want to stick it in there and then you want to pull it back and while you're pulling that back you want to pull at the same time with your hand and the sucker should pop right off and then don't forget this light that you have here and then you have this one here and then to take that off there's a little button that you have to get under here you practically have to lay down on the floor. You have to get under here. And then there's a, there should be a little button up here. I don't know if you can see it. But there is a little button right here. Right after this thing. Or in front of it. And you want to push that sucker down. All the way down as hard as you can go. And then while you're pushing that down. You want to pull it out as hard as you can. With all your might. Just all hurt your elbow or your hand or whatever. When you're trying to pull it out. I hurt my finger here. See. From pulling this one out mm, so that's what you get when you pull really hard and try not to be careful and try to be careful at the same time so that's how you take off a 73 to 79 f100 f250 4 dash um, as well as the Broncos and I don't know about the vans but I know the pickup trucks the extended cab trucks no matter what, it's a step side or feet side. That's what you want to do. It's all the same. Even the Broncos are the, should be the same too. Um, if they aren't, I come across one in the junkyard. I will let you know. So, yeah. This is how you take off a 73 to 79 F100, F200. I mean F250 pickup and Bronco Dash. So... For that note, I'm going to take out this radio, pop in another one, and see if it works good. And then uh, stay tuned. Everybody stay safe. And um, subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff. I know you'd say it in every video, but I have other videos out. Go watch them. I know I talk a lot, but just go watch them anyway. And subscribe, please. I ask you to subscribe. And while you're there, go check out uh, the Craig 909. He's got a cool pickup. It's a 71 F100. And he's got a 64 Galaxy that he's working on. Go check him out. He's a cool cat. Um, he's got my dream car. As of right now. And it would be nice to have me one of those. But I'll get one. I'll get there someday. So on that note. Stay tuned. For more videos. I know there's an echo in here. Um, and uh, yeah. Go check out him. And subscribe to him. And. While you're there, you might as well subscribe to me, too. So, thanks, guys. Stay tuned. I'll let you know what happens.